Lamar left Llewellyn's office with a frown on his face. A quarrel had erupted, and he had been ordered to nay speak those words again. He hurried down to the ops room where Beatrice, his wife, was working. He was relieved to see she was standing up as though getting ready to leave. Can you walk a bit with me ere you return to whatever it is you do here? Beatrice looked her counselor. His hair was almost white, and his brown eyes were filled with puzzlement. His right arm that had been destroyed by the Justines hung loose from his shoulder. It was fine when he plied his warrior's trade, but as someone confined to the ground, Lamar was not the most proficient being when dealing with others. He, like herself, had kept his warrior's body, and except for the right arm, most of his muscle power. She couldn't fault him the white hair, but it was worrisome. Of course I can, Lamar. As I was about to leave for lunch, Andrew and Linen have their tracking set in such a way that I rarely have enough to keep me busy. I'm hoping things improve as much as Llewellyn predicts, and others are trained to do this work. Then I can spend more time at the Warriors and Flight Academy. They walked outside. Lamar was tight-lipped and glancing back and forth. Once they were outside in the walled section of compound, Beatrice turned. Lamar, what is wrong? What makes you think something is wrong? I just need to discuss something. Mayhap, receive your counsel. My words seem to do nay but antagonize my maca. Beatrice stared at him. It wasn't her imagination. The man was truly agitated. Lamar, what did you do? I have done nay. His denial was emphatic. "'Tis Llewellyn and that... that one he calls his laddie. They will nay listen." Beatrice sighed. She knew Lamar meant well, but his advice for everyday living could be irritating. "'And to what will they nay listen?' "'Lawrence and that ab woman canna marry. Tis wrong.' Beatrice shook her head. "'Lamar, if you mean the kinning woman... Llewellyn has named her and made her a try. Once she tis healed, he can appoint her to a position of worth, and she will be house. Tis better this way. Who in any of the houses would wish to marry a Justine mixed with some primitive planet's genes? It tis a perfect solution. Lamar was shaking his head. Ye dinna kin. She tis apt to talk. About what? She's been a landab these many years. She will tear this house apart. Desperation was building in Lamar's voice. Lamar, what have you done? Did you bed her ere the sisters tried to kill her? I paid nay attention to that gossip I heard about you taking her to the warrior's haven. Lamar swallowed. I did nay bed her. Beatrice reached out and grasped both his hands with hers. Lamar, why did you take her there? It was to be but a temporary arrangement before sending her inland. Rollo said it would be a way to silence her. How could I ken that the sisterhood would find her and try to kill her? But why did you go along with that scheme? Why would you want her silenced? Rollo said the sisterhood would come after us if she continued to say Don would be restored. He kenned she was nay a true kenning woman. Lamar, her predictions have come true. Llewellyn tis back, his laddie tis with him. His eyes are the color of a blind man, and Don and Donick are being restored. Of course she tis the kenning woman. Lamar was shaking his head. Nay, Rollo said. Bah, Rollo said. Beatrice was exasperated. Ruren hates the woman. They feared Rosella would make an idiot of herself over her and they certainly didn't want Don to have the kine and sheep back. Llewellyn and Lawrence had to take the kine before the sisters attacked. If our victory over the sisters hadn't been so complete, Rurin would still try to keep everything. We are warriors, Lamar roared. Nay, kinemen, even that Lawrence fought better than I thought such a skinny body could fight. Lamar, Lawrence tis a kinemen. Have you nay listened to the tales Luella and Llewellyn have told us about their life on his planet? You need to go to Llewellyn and confess what you did and apologize. 